Hey guys, it's Kevin, State & Coltrack Insurance. And today's topic is one of the remarkable developments in the trucking industry that has set the shockwaves across our economy. One of the largest trucking companies in the United States, Yellow, as we all know, has unexpectedly collapsed, sending the shockwaves from Wall Street to the core of domestic shipping and even the real estate markets. And when you think about it, that Yellow was a powerhouse with a staggering $5.2 billion in business just last year, and their network facilitated over 50,000 shipments every single day, making them one of the you know key players in the supply chain for the countless American companies. And in this astonishing twist, their operations just came to a crashing halt resulting in the recent bankruptcy filing that has left us with landscape defined by both winners and losers. And, you know, some of the winners in this whole situation would be Yellow's, because, you know, Yellow was in the less than truckload sector. And that sector, you know, is pretty competitive and dominated by some big players such as ABF Freight, Old Dominion Freight Lines, as well as T-Force, along with regional carriers and all those competitors now are experiencing, you know, experiencing surge in business since Yellow's decline began in mid-July. And the reports from the insiders indicate that these competitors have enjoyed a substantial boost in daily shipments, which, you know, brings some new blood back into the market. And it's not just competitors that are benefiting. You know, the exit you know, of yellow from the market has triggered a shift in pricing dynamics. With yellow's reputation as a low-cost low leader out of the picture, experts predict that an industry-wide price hike affecting various transportation segments, including the truckload carriers that serve retailers and manufacturers, because yellow was notorious for low-cost pricing and big retailers such as Walmart, Home Depot, as well as United States government benefited from their prices. And what's interesting, the investors in publicly traded competitors of Yellow, such as ArcBest, Old Dominion, Saya, XPO, and TFI International, have also seen their stocks surge despite a prevailing downturn in freight demand. So the industry's resilience shines through demonstrating its ability to defy economic challenges. And now let's not forget the real estate angle because Yellow's extensive property holdings featuring a strategically located truck terminals are bound to attract other trucking companies eager to strengthen their infrastructure, especially when constructing new facilities face community pushback. However, the picture isn't all rosy. And amidst the winners, there are clear losers. And the Yellow's collapse has caused around 30,000 job losses, which is comparable to Boeing's workforce cut in 2020. And this has left workers spanning from office staff to truck drivers navigating in this turbulent, pre-recession, who knows what type of economy, what inflation is still kind of crazy. And, and granted, the truckers, experienced ones, will be able to land the jobs probably, you know, minus some of the benefits that Yellow was able to provide. They might deflect to some smaller players, but, you know, again, it's, it's never easy to embark on a new journey and, um, land a new job and besides the employees you know it's the customers because the yellow was also known for a competitive pricing and it's most likely going to lead to higher freight rates and even the federal government had a significant significant business with yellows transport services so the uncle sam is also going to change you know face challenges securing those cheap rates that they had for years um, while partnering with Yellow.
And lastly, let's talk about the potential impact on American taxpayers, because the Treasury Department, as part of a 700 million COVID aid loan in 2020, became a stakeholder in yellow. However, with yellow's collapse, the Treasury's equity could be at risk and potentially resulting in losses if those, you know, if the company's assets cannot cover the outstanding debt. So as you see, there are some winners, there are some losers. We'll keep you posted on um, any latest developments on the story. Stay tuned and we'll see you again. Bye.